We all know students spend a lot more time in front of screens than they did years ago, but generally that time isn't spent watching soap operas at school. Visit the lunchroom in senior high during lunch hour, and the conversation can sometimes sound a bit like a soap opera. What's less expected is to actually have one playing on a television while students eat lunch. Inappropriate content to be played on a public school television. Nicole King first learned about it last week from her son. There was steamy content, cringy content is how he initially termed it on the televisions at lunch. It's not like he's unaware of sexual content out there. It's just not appropriate to be on a school television. New Superintendent Erwin Garcia says the district is now investigating, trying to learn how the channels were changed. Programming is normally set to either CNN or Nickelodeon. Based on the fact that the remote control were not handy for the students and somehow the channel was changed, gives us the indication that someone must have, have gained access to the network through or to the TV through our network and be able to change the channels. Garcia says smartphones connected to the same network as the TVs provide openings for outside interference. He says he's confident staff at the school weren't knowingly letting the students watch the content. No adult wanted to, to, to put kids on a position where they would see a romantic scene on TV. That, that's not the case. We are disconnected the TVs until further notice, until we figure out what's going on. But Nicole King isn't so sure. She says an isolated incident is one thing, but argues more than once is unacceptable. It's not an isolated incident. It's been occurring for a while, and nobody has changed the channel, interrupted that. I don't really see any reason to have TV programming occurring. In Billings, Phil Van Pelt, MTN News.